place kind of gives me the creeps. Don't worry, Luther. I'll protect you. Thanks. That does make me feel better. We'll have this case solved in no time. Just you hey. wait. We're the best detective team in the West. It's a combination. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, one, three. This is kind of tricky. One. One. Two. Three. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Peace. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Your cousin Calico seems like a nice fish. I'm sorry her hogfish got rustled. Me too. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Russellmania magazine. Hmm. A blue 10 gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers. So you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay. Thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bandana like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. You 
Hogfish, quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <laughs> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with a round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct! Has anyone else been in here having belt buckles made? Nope. You two are the only ones who've been in here in quite a while. I'm thinking maybe I should advertise in the newspaper or something. Have you always been a buckle maker? No. I used to be a calendar model. I was June in the Tropical Tool and Die calendar three years running. Since then, I've had lots of jobs. What other jobs have you had? For a while, I was a product improvement specialist. My job was to put those little stickers on the boxes that say, New and Improved. So... All we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with a round top and some kind of letter, right? You got it! I guess whoever was working here is done now. Hogfish are doing okay. Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. After those poor hogfish. I hope they're getting enough to eat. I always try to give others the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> Does that include hogfish rustlers? Well... That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. <laughs> it's a shame it's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Well, someone left the coffee stain on the plants. Yeah, yeah. These plans say they need a piece of wood five feet by five feet. These plans say they need a piece of wood five feet by five feet. You know, the coffee might not have spilled on the plans if someone hadn't filled my cup so full. Well, maybe someone should use a bigger cup. I might use a bigger cup if someone made better coffee. You know, we might have better coffee if someone chipped into the coffee fund more than, say, once a year. We might get raises if someone didn't cut round squares when we needed square squares. This isn't getting us anywhere. Let's just get some more wood and make another floor. Maybe we should take another coffee break first. <sighs> Maybe we could get them to change it from a square dance to a circle dance. You mean like the hokey pokey or something? Sure. I doubt it. People around here are stubborn. 
You're right. We better just fix the floor. Where are we gonna find a piece of wood five feet by five feet on such short notice? I don't know. It really is a shame. It's such a nice floor. Yeah, too bad someone cut it round. Aw, oh, don't let's start that again. Okay. Where are we gonna find a piece of wood five feet by five feet on such short notice? Maybe we'll get lucky and someone will bring us one. <laughs>